What? So, uh, hi. We've got a new mom cat. Uh, she showed up last night. I'm sure most of you know. And we're pretty excited about her. Although, I got to tell you right up front, uh, the biggest news, of course, I really don't think she's pregnant. Uh, oh, wait. Do I have to change my opinion? Well, we'll see. Um, I think that, like, maybe, or like a myth, that she is, uh, you know, a big, chunky cat that maybe has something going on, um, you know, like a, some worms or something uh, GI tract related uh, that's not pregnancy. So I'll just get that out of the way right now. Um, of course, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But normally I can feel something uh, inside when I palpate the belly, especially when they get this big, she's just rolling. Uh, and I don't feel anything. I don't feel any little kitten lumps or poop lumps or gas babies or anything. So so we'll see. Anyway, uh, anyhow, I, what I can tell you about her for sure is that she is crazy sweet. I mean, just so sweet. As you can see, the minute that we came in, she wants to come right up and snuggle. She's purring really loud. Can you hear that? Um, she just, she loves to snuggle. She climbed up in my lap on the beanbag yesterday. She just wants attention all the time. Uh, so that's real sweet. She's, she's a total sweetheart who loves to be petted. Also, I think she's really young. I don't know if I'll be able to show you this because she doesn't like me playing with her mouth, but I looked at her teeth and they are like pure white. So like, that's like a year old, probably, if that. Let me see if I can get her to show just a little bit. Oh, oh, oh will you? I don't think she's gonna let me. This is awkward. Okay. Well, no, okay, we're not gonna see. That's all right, you gotta take my word for it. Oh, you know what? I know what's wrong with the stream if we're having some issues. Uh, it's I forgot to shut down one of the regular streams. Let me do that real quick. Just take me a second. It might glitch out here, but it probably will improve things. Let's try, hang on. Hang on, let's see if I can't do that. Oh, wow, it said it just connected right away. It didn't even ask me, so I don't know if it's going to reevaluate whether it can go full resolution or not. Um, but uh, whatever, I mess these things up all the time, so now I messed up another one. Uh, just, you know, par for the course. I'm using the phone because I wanted her to get a chance to show you how she plays. Because um, she is also very playful, and she wants to. she was wrestling with all of her toys last night, Let's see if she'll get into it a little bit. <laughs> now she's stretching. Uh, well, sorry for the rough start on the video. I wish I could go back and redo it, uh, but I, I can't, and I'm not going to try, you know. I'm not going to just start over, am I? <laughs> uh, as you guessed, the title of this video is a reference to a very classic YouTube video, uh, which I linked already in the description. So if you want to check the description, you can, you can see it. But uh, yeah, she looks pregnant. She sure does. I can see why they sent her to us, why the shelter sent her to us, thinking that she would be pregnant. Of course, most of them don't actually check. You know, they just kind of have a look at her, take their best guess. That's the way it usually works. Because um, they don't have the resources to do, you know, tests on every kind of... Uh, cat that comes in. They just got to do what they can to get them moved. So lots of things could be going on. Uh, if you remember uh, Teacup, who was wonderful, ended up having uh, an ovarian cyst. Uh, lots of mom cats come in with things like worms. And, uh, you know, if you got a lot of worms, you can end up looking this big. Uh, it could just be general chunkiness, could be gas, could be all kinds of things. Um, I'm not a vet, so I don't even know what all the possibilities are. And I will take her to Dr. Katz as soon as I can, although I haven't scheduled with Dr. Katz yet, so I'm going to call her tomorrow first thing and try to see how soon we can get her in for a check. Um, but my guess, my guess, like I said, she just, she, you know, when, um, when Flower came in and when um, uh, uh, Port came in, oh, excuse me, 
she's also shedding quite a bit. <laughs> now I've got cat hair everywhere. Um, when Port came in and when um, Flower came in, I was able to feel their kittens very easily. Like you could, you could feel their belly and you could feel that there were kittens in there. This, I don't, I don't feel anything at all. It's just a big old uh, mushy belly. Uh, it's, I mean, it's taut because it's so big, you know, there's a little bit of firmness to it, but there's no, there's no little lumpy kittens. There's no little lumpy intestines. Uh, there's just, there's just not much to feel in there. Now, I don't, again, I don't know much and I've been wrong before. I could be wrong again. Um, but uh, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's just that she's not very far along yet, you know, like maybe they just aren't developed and she's going to have a thousand kittens. I don't think it's that. I just don't think she's pregnant. but I do think she's wonderfully sweet. Of course, it wouldn't be the first time that we'd gotten a mom that people thought was pregnant and sent to us and turned out not to be pregnant. In fact, we even uh, one time uh, on Angel's Wings got a boy <laughs> that wasn't pregnant. So, um, and you know, they had, had it sent as a pregnant mom cat and it turned out it wasn't even a girl. Um, but that was a long time ago. Uh, we have had, you know, like you remember, there's been quite a few recently. We had uh, rumor and myth both come in. Neither one was pregnant. Uh, we had um, maybe come in, right? She wasn't pregnant. Wait, was she? Now I'm all confused. No, she wasn't. Of course she wasn't. Uh, so there we go. That wasn't Filbert. Oh my gosh. I don't know how this Filbert legend re re started, but as I recall, I, when we brought in all the trees, I saw Filbert, and when I saw him, I thought, that looks like a pregnant mom to me, and I said so on a video. I said, that looks like a pregnant mom, but that was before I'd had a look at him at all, and the minute I looked at him, I realized he was a boy. So it's not Filbert. That's not the one I mean. <laughs> oh, now she's going to play. Maybe. Well, Steph, it's a good question whether we'll be keeping her here if she's not pregnant because we're very full right now. Plus, with the extra care that we need to uh, take care of Port, uh, being separated from her kittens more often than not. By the way, if you weren't, uh, if you didn't join us over the weekend for the mailbag, uh, yesterday I should say for the weekend, it's still the week. But let me start over. If, uh, if you didn't hear me talking about it on the mailbag yesterday, uh, we... Um, actually are going to take care to keep Port away from her kittens a little more often than not. Um, I, I know in our last close-up, I said I thought Port was fine and not hurting anybody, um, but I've changed my mind on that. So um, we're, you know, she's still allowed around her kittens, um, but, uh, but we're keeping her away more often than not now and keeping her out of the room at night. So uh, with the, the extra care that we need for port, uh, custard is on his diet, that's extra care, uh, and of course millet is extra care. Um, with all that going on, um, we may not have uh, all the resources that we need to deal with this one if it's not pregnant and bring in a pregnant cat as well. So it's really going to depend on what uh, Danbury Animal Welfare Society wants to do, but my guess would be if she turns out to not be pregnant, probably won't be staying here. Uh, on the other hand, if she turns out to get along with the faculty as well as Port does and can just be out around the house all the time, then, you know, why wouldn't she be able to stay? Um, I think if, if that was the case, then she would. <sighs> She's clearly very, very sweet, though, and very playful and very young. And... Um, not clearly not pregnant, but uh, that's that's really I'm putting my money on not. So we'll see.
So uh, when I started this, my intent was to just do a close up with her and not visit anybody else. And I used the phone because I wanted to make sure we got it done quickly. And also uh, I wanted to be able to try to play with her a little bit. Speaking of playing with her, let's just see how she does with a noodle stick while we're sitting here. I don't know what you think you're looking for though. What? You're very curious about things, huh? Okay. What? What are you talking about? Do you want a treat? Do you like treats? I don't think I've given her any treats yet. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, that's a winner. You like that, huh? Oh, get it, oh, get it, oh. Uh, I've seen some people say that she's a little limpy. It's, I think it's too early to tell. I haven't seen her move enough and, and there could be, you know, something that's transient, like she took a bad jump at some point. So we'll see, we'll keep an eye on it. She certainly hasn't had any negative responses to me feeling any of her at any point. So I don't think that she's got any sort of pain going on. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say is I, I wasn't planning on uh, seeing Millet in this close up because Millet had finally settled down to take a nap. But I think Millet heard me walking around and has been meowing and distracting me. Uh, you might have heard it at the beginning of the close up, especially. So we'll go next door in just a second and see Millet for a minute. Millet is doing great. DJ has insisted on sleeping in the room with Millet every night since Millet got back from his surgery. Uh, so she's making sure that he's fine and that he doesn't spend hardly any time alone. I actually think that he should have a little more time by himself so that he can uh, settle down and nap and get used to it. So... <laughs> What are you doing? Now, what are you doing? He's done. Are we done? No, we're not done. So yeah, for anybody coming in late, I, I don't think that she's pregnant. Uh, I can't feel any little kittens in her belly. Um, but you know, it wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong either. Let's go next door and see Millet for just a minute. Although I really want him to settle back down and go back to sleep. Hi, sweetheart. She's always just so loving and rubbing on everything and following me around. and. Um, It'll be important for us to see how she does with the faculty, especially, like I said, if, uh, if she's not pregnant. Um, but I do know she was growling at Port through the door the other day, uh, the other day, just yesterday, last night. But it also seemed like she calmed down about it pretty quickly. So that seems like a good sign to me. I think that's probably a good sign. So we'll see. Anyway, let's go next door and see our little Millie Bean. Don't fall out. Hang on. Now we definitely have to do some hand sanitizer. So give me one second for that. Okay, right here. Hang on. Oh, that was weird. I'm gonna go for a double dose. All right, there we go. Okay. Hi, Millie, you gotta make room for me to come in though. You gotta let me in. 
So Millie has to Millet has to stay in his special room <laughs> most of the time. Hi, bud. You think you're just gonna walk right out, huh? Millet has to stay in his special room because doctor's orders are that he's not allowed to do any rough play. He's not allowed to be jumping on things and climbing things and jumping off of things. And he's a kitten and he doesn't realize that there's anything going on at all. And uh, he would love to go and play. So we got to really watch him like a hawk anytime that we do bring him out of the room, like to the bedroom or whatever, to hang out with us for a little while. And in here, everything should be pretty safe. I took the beanbag chair out. This is uh, DJ's bed <laughs> where she's been sleeping with him every night. And uh, he's got uh, some toys in here, a couple little things to hang out on and play with, and he does. But mostly he just likes to, he likes this deep bed, and he gets in there and he kneads on it, and then he snuggles up and takes a nap. So, uh, anyway, not too much else to say about him. He's just doing great. He's, he's super happy. Uh, he, you know, he does wish that he could go out and play with the other kittens. Of course he does. And we've brought in visitors to see him. Um, especially like Loganberry and Custard have been in a couple times and uh, Loganberry grooms them and he grooms Loganberry and uh, they're both brothers. So, um, so yeah, the uh, short story, he's doing great. And on Thursday, he will get his first checkup wearing his splint and we'll see how he's doing. There's just not too much else to say about it. He's very pretty though, isn't he? He's such a sweetheart. I've been making sure that uh, DJ especially has been making sure that he gets, you know, plenty of company and plenty of stimulation. And then I've been in here and I play with him a little bit with the noodle stick and with the other toys, not, you know, too actively. We want him not to play too actively, but we've been very careful. And hopefully, um, on Thursday, maybe we can see if the vet is willing to let us push his limits just a little bit further. So uh, we'll see about that too. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Yeah, you want to climb right up here, don't you? All right. Well, hey, look, that's everything. Um, DJ has uh, wanted us to replace the platforms out in the cat run for a while. And she's right to want that because they're starting to come apart. They're starting to delaminate. One of them already fell off. Uh, so that's the project she's assigned to us for today. And I should probably get to it. Uh, sorry for the rough start on this close up. And um, uh, yeah, sorry for the bad news about our new mom cat and probably not being pregnant. I feel, I feel actually fairly confident that she's going to turn out to be like um, maybe your myth and not be pregnant at all. Um, but we'll find out for sure as soon as I can get her scheduled for a vet appointment. I will let you know. We're going to do, uh, we'll do more close-ups with her. We'll get the good camera out. We'll get some good photos of her. And uh, one way or another, we will uh, have a lot of updates and you'll get lots of chances to see her and we'll all learn about how she is and everything will be fine. So that's it. Hi, buddy. Hi. I know that scratching's got to feel really good because you've got the suit on. It gets all itchy. I know. I know. All right. Well, um, Millet and the new mom cat have both been on the regular Kitten Academy live stream this morning. And uh, the new mom cat, I, I'm calling her that, even though I don't think she is. <laughs> uh, new mom cat has, uh, uh, is, is, and has, was on it all night. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. She was on the stream all night. Uh, so if you want to watch um, her, and if you want to watch the kittens downstairs, you should tune into the Kitten Academy live stream here on YouTube. And uh, if you want to watch Millet, you might get a chance or two on there as well. 
Although uh, we're hoping that Millet will mostly just calm down and take a nap. And in that case, there's not going to be too much to see. So thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, we'll, I'll try to do a little bit better with the technical end of the close-up next time. I feel like I say that every time. Uh, we'll get there eventually. Thanks, everybody.